Hi guys, it's Carissa, and I'm coming to you today with a video on my favorite light pink and um, nude tone nail polishes. I actually was pulling them all together, and when I counted them, I realized I had exactly 10 of them. So I figured, why not paint one on each of my nails? It's going to look silly until I take it off, but um, why not paint one on each of my nails so you can kind of see what they look like and compare them to each other? I love nude polish because I think it's a really classy, classic look um, that complements. It just, you know, gives you a really well manicured looking hand. Um, but you do have to have patience because nude polishes, speaking of patience, my shirt's being a jerk today. Um, <laughs> uh, they can be streaky and it can take a few coats to achieve the look that you would really need. So you just have to use a light hand, don't use too much product, and I think you'll be really happy with the results. So to start, these are in no particular order, but I will tell you what my top three are. Um, this is Ulta's Professional Nail Lacquer in Strapless. And I have it on my pinky here. It's a nice, oh, forgive my cuticles. I have the worst habit of chewing them when I'm nervous or if I watch a su suspenseful movie, which I just did. Um, it's, it's a really pretty color. It's kind of a taupe, and it has a silvery, um, kind of shimmery cast to it, a very light, almost not noticeable one. But um, if you have a darker skin tone, this might be a perfect nude for you. I think it's a really pretty color. Uh, and this took two coats to achieve this look. Uh, the next is Revlon in Sheer Heaven. You see the label's all worn off. If you can't get some of these still in the store, I would encourage you to look for them on Amazon or eBay. Because some of them would be definitely be worth having. And that one is right here. That one is a very light color. Um, it has kind of an ivory tone to it. This is three coats that I used to get that. Um, it looks a little more sheer, but four coats would be a really opaque white almost if you like that look. Number three is Essie in Sandy Beach. And Essie's pretty well known for their nude colors. Uh, this one's really, do I want to show you that whole finger? <laughs> this one's really pretty. Um, it's a little bit sheer, it's very uh, soft looking, and here it is compared to the others. It's almost a perfect match for my skin tone on my hands, and that was four coats to get that look. Anything less than that was kind of streaky. Number four is the Butter London Yummy Mummy, and this is similar to the Ulta color in the sense that it's a little bit on the browner side and it does have a silvery cast, but if you look at them next to each other, there is quite a difference. There's almost more of a copper tone to the Butter London one and um, that is just two coats for coverage on that. So here are all the colors I have so far. Um, Number five is, oh, number five is so pretty. And if you can't get it anymore, I'm sure you can find it online somewhere. This is In the Spotlight Pink by OPI. And I have it on my thumb here. It's, it's a milky, soft, baby pink. And this is four coats that I used to achieve this look. And these are all these nails kind of together. Number six Number six I took a chance on, and I love it. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Color, and the color is Private Viewing. And here it is on my thumb. It's very close. It's borderline Old Lady Mauve, but I think it's very classy looking. It goes on really nicely. The formula is beautiful. I think it was like a dollar. I like that a lot. Here it is compared to the other ones. This is three coats I did to get that look. I probably could have gotten away with two. Number seven almost didn't make my list because I don't like the consistency. And it might be because it's a little bit older, so it might have kind of dried out a little bit. I'm not sure. But it did beat out one other color just because it's so pretty on. It is Zoya in Shea. And 
Here it is on my index finger. This is two coats of this, and it's very thick, and it's almost unmanageably thick. Um, so I have to be very patient on the days I want to put that on, because even though it's only two coats, I have to really make sure that the, that the layers are even and that they look right. So here's these two compared to the other colors. Number eight is Essie in Blushing Bride. And this one, I have six coats on, and I could have done more um, if I wanted to. It's a barely there nude color. Here it is next to the Zoya Shea. It's really, really, again, I gotta be careful with that finger. Ooh, look at my yucky cuticles. Delish. I really like this color though. Um, if you see it up next to the face, it looks like it's barely there, but it what it does is it evens out the color of the nail bed and it has just the littlest bit of color to really make it look shiny and pretty and even. So it's definitely worth the extra work to put on a few more coats. Number nine, this is one of the oldest, one of the first nail polishes I've I ever used. I remember my mother was a hairdresser, so she you know could go to professional stores to get supplies and she would buy professional nail polishes and she had a manicure kit for French nails and she had this in it and I remember using it so much and I appreciate it even more now as just a standalone color this is OPI's Coney Island cotton candy and still around this has a really nice peach color to it it goes on nice and evenly that's gorgeous here it is next to the other colors just really nice and even love that number 10 is Essie and Mademoiselle and I know this one is an award winner in many magazines it's one of the most popular colors and there's a reason for that I think that it's universally flattering to any skin tone. It helps really blend the color on a nail bed. So if you have a little discoloration there, it's very helpful. It's very shiny and it's just the littlest bit pink. So here they, here's my silly looking nails. I have to go to the grocery store with my sister in a little while. That's probably gonna make her nuts. So, my top three favorites here are the number three Essie in Sandy Beach. That's my middle fingernail right there. Um, the Wet n Wild Private Viewing, just because it goes on so well and it's such a, it was just such a surprisingly great color. Um, I really like it. I like it better than some of these polishes that are way more money than than what it is. And then of course the Coney Island Cotton Candy, I can't be without it because I feel like it's just a great go-to color. Um, I think it's perfect for my skin tone. Now I will tell you, I don't feel that way about polish on my, on my toenails. I'd much rather have something a little bit more daring on my toes, so I might not have ever used any of these on my toes. A fun way though to wear nude colors or light pink colors if you, you know, if this is a little bit too boring for you to do these on all your nails is to do what I call a party nail, which is to take any one or two nails on your hand. I usually do my ring finger, um, but you could pick any nail you like and then do something a little more daring, a little more surprising. Um, I like one of these. This is the... Essie Luxe Effects, it's color 950, as gold as it gets. Nice little gold flake, put that over one of them. Or the Butter London Tart with a Heart. This is a fun color because it's kind of gold and silver. And I also have the Butter London Fairy Lights, which is a really metallic pink. And then my new color club in Disco Nap which is another fun one to pair up with a nude. So just for a little something extra, a little something surprising, have fun with it, enjoy it, don't take it too seriously, it comes off. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.